Hello there, Michaelers. How is everyone doing? It's Pearl Jr. here. I am doing another live from the Skin Butter Store. If, oh, man, I need to clean my camera. Give me a second so it's not blurry. Let me see what I can do here. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. From, ah, oh, it's still blurry. I wonder why it does, the uh, camera here is blurry. I'm trying to clean this up, y'all. Let's see. Let's see if I can get, get it clean enough. Ah, there we go. From the Skin Butter Store. Dot com or stays all day shade.com. Um, you make sure that you order your stays all day shade.com. I have a new fragrance coming out. You guys know I'm a Democrat and uh, I love comma la Harris. So we're going to have a new fragrance. I found a fragrance called comma la Harris and I call it good comma. <laughs> Good comma, right? For it, so we know not to mispronounce her name. It's like a comma in a sentence, Kamala Harris. So um, we call it good comma, and it smells a divine. It's a soft, subtle, um, like when you get close to someone that's dignified, especially a woman, and she has this soft, uh, pretty smell about her. That's what it smells like. So I'm going to put that on the website, hopefully. Um, in the next couple of days, but if you want to order it beforehand, just let me know and we'll we'll work it out. Okay, so there is a few Michael news, but I don't have that much time because we are going to a farmer's market in Monrovia, California. See my skin, see my skin. And I'd like to report that Kelly Rollins, you guys know I posted the picture of Kelly Rollins already. She already got some of my sandalwood, Kelly Rollins of Destiny Child. Okay, she already got some of my sandalwood uh, shea butter. Uh, this time she got Go Madam Go and she told me she loves it and uses it all the time. Yay! It is fabulous. You guys got to order some, some Stays All Day Shea from uh, the skinbutterstore.com. Okay? And it links to staysalldayshea.com. All right, now to Michael News. Now to Michael News. All right, um, there's new pictures of Catherine and LaToya. So let me show you. Yay! There's Catherine and LaToya. Hello, Miss Kate. Wonderful 94 years old. There you go. There's LaToya. I think they went to the Brothers concert and the Jacksons concert in San Diego a few days ago. So LaToya uh, brought us some footage and we can see Mama Kate still running the streets and we're happy and she got her little mask on. She got her little mask, okay? And that's important because my father got COVID and he's 91, so we're kind of dealing with that right now. So please say a prayer for my daddy, okay? Um, um, let's see. Uh, so, uh, B. Howard, oh my God, you guys know, I've already proved that Brandon Howard is that son in the song Billy Jean that Michael wrote that he says, eyes look like mine, lie becomes the truth, oh no, you know, the lies, be no, eyes look like mine, oh no, I was wrong, saying it's not my son, and the lie becomes the truth, right? So, uh, the Billy Jean is Mickey Howard, okay, because she loved Billy Holiday, and and her, she probably looked good in her jeans. <laughs> That's what Marlon said. It was Billy's jeans. And he said that in a, uh, uh, on an interview. Thank you, Michael, for having Marlon say that. Anyway, at least that's what I want to believe. Okay. So anyway, anyway, um, uh, uh, he's got a song. He's remaking Liberian Girl. Let's see. Uh, Brandon Howard. Let's see if we can get it. Uh, let me see. Uh, I better not play it because they might. Oh, here it is. Okay, hold on. There it is, Liberian Girl. You guys got to hear it, especially the vocals sound just like Michael. Oh my God, they sound just like Michael, okay? So it is, that's coming and it's halfway out now. So now let's go ahead and go back to my live. Now what did I do? 
Okay, stickers, okay, apply, whatever. All right, so now we go back to me. Hello, hello. Um, and then we have the weekend. Oh my gosh, you guys know the famous weekend. And I remember talking to Peter Michael Bobby about the song Earned It, and you guys know that Earned It was written after the death announcement, and there's Michael singing Earned It under the alias, the decoy, Marcus Williams, okay? So Marcus Williams is the one that if somebody says, oh, that's really Michael, they say, oh, it's Marcus Williams to throw the majority of people off but if you really had to prove it no no it's it's Michael Jackson it is not just like he sung joy which was a Teddy Riley song right and Teddy Riley said oh it was only one verse so how come we only got one verse okay where's the second verse okay where's the second verse okay because that's Michael too okay so you guys gotta go look uh, scroll my channel and you will find the song earned it and the vast majority of people even people that don't want to believe Michael's not dead believe that that's Michael singing and it is because I talked to Peter Michael Bobby and I told him how much I loved the song and we talked about contracts and all that stuff because I think he was contemplating coming to see me as himself even though he's come to see me uh, in Macy's in disguise as Miss Jane Pittman, he's come into uh, the court as a bum, and he's come into, that was the Catherine versus AEG live trial, that he came to see me as a bum, and then he came to see me again in the IRS case, because you can't photograph in a court in a court in a courthouse and if you ever found a Ford photograph in a courthouse you can be kicked out so that's not good okay especially a federal courthouse so he came through the IRS case and he had told me before oh I just got a TV test and then he was like an older fat white gentleman and then he showed me his arm you know that's my birthmark the red is my strawberry birthmark he showed me his arm like see the mark see the mark and so he was letting me know that that was him with the TV test the TB test okay so and Michael's probably come see me other time oh yeah at a farmer's market too at the farmer's market too oh my god he's come see me as a far at a farmer's market as well all right but at the time, I'm in farmer's market mode, I'm in the shea butter mode, and he was talking to me about Michael and said, oh, some people think I sound like him, and he wanted to bring up Brandon Howard and all that stuff. That was Michael, but it was an afterthought. It was an afterthought, okay? So anyway, so Michael's come to see me several times, but... Um, uh, um, uh, uh, oh, the song Earned It. So he sang the song Earned It because him and Bob, me, me, Peter, Michael, Bobby had talked about the song Earned It a lot, how I liked it. So then he released the song Earned It just like a week later, right? All right. So now we're talking about the weekend. So let me get that up. Let me get that up because I know I don't have much time. Uh, where is it? Okay. Here is, um, here is, oh no. Oh, gosh, I'll, I'll bring it back. This is the weekend supposed new album cover. It looks like dangerous. Now we know that there's controversy with the weekend with Prince 85 and he's in a mask. People think that's Michael, but I don't think Michael would produce that kind of music, but I don't know. And then there is um uh um, um there's a video that um he did that looks like Michael as if Michael's gonna wear the same clothes and be on the set of a video where everybody can see that it's him, so it had to be an impersonator, right? But some fans believe that it was him. I do not. I believe it was an impersonator. But this is very, very reminiscent of Michael Jackson's dangerous album. And so I wonder, and I've asked this before, has the weekend uh, has he, is he a believer? I think he is a believer. He probably watches all the Death Hoax videos and loves the Death Hoax videos, okay? So, uh, we have that. And then we have MJ Vibe, okay? I love MJ Vibe. They give great news about Michael. Oh, no. Let me go to MJVibe.com. Okay, mjvibe.com. And I don't think they like me because they're mad because I'm proving that Michael Jackson faked his death. And for whatever reason, Michael being alive is uh, offensive to some fans. It's offensive. They prefer him dead. They're like, shut up, he's dead. I don't even want to hear anything that he might be alive. Because I'm thinking about me. And I'm thinking about how I was tricked. I'm not thinking about his life. 
I'm not thinking about how the haters were after him. I'm not thinking about how he worked since he was five years old entertaining for 45 years and he wanted to retire with a bang. I'm not thinking about how they tried to put him in jail for over 20 years for a crime he did not commit. I'm not talking about all the people that talked, called him all kind of crazy names and accused him of all kind of crazy things, you know, and he wanted to escape like his album was called Escape. And if you listen to the lyrics of the Escape album, he's telling you. And just like on the Michael album, the cover of the Michael album, he got on the lips, I live, read my lip, I live, on the Michael album. And a whole bunch more clues are all in that Michael album. And you guys, please watch the Alive docuseries. Please, 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 please. So anyway, so MJ Vibe, who I like, I like them even though they don't like me, but I like them because I like the news that they give, and I think they give good news. So even if you're a hater of mine or whatever, if you do good work, I'm going to give you credit. All right, so this right here, um, MJ Vibe is griping about the estate making $2 billion. Okay, really? You're mad in ticket sales? You're mad? You're mad about it? Um, and mad because uh, the estate was successful and they're making money and they're presenting Michael in a positive light and all his, and this is it, in MJ1, MJ Immortal, uh, MJ the Musical, um, the, the Halloween special, the albums that were released, except for the controversy with the Michael album, those three songs. But I think that was still Michael playing games, thinking that people would buy the album because they wanted to see, is it Michael really or is it an imposter? But it didn't really work out that way. Okay, um, and then one girl, she uh, sued the estate and ended up winning. I sued, no, she sued Sony and ended up winning because uh, they settled and they took those three songs, Keep Your Head Up, Monster, and uh, Breaking News, uh, um, saying that they were Jason Malachi and Malachi has Michael in, Jason Malachi has like all the letters of Michael Jackson in it. So it's, it's, it's Michael and games, lots of games. But anyway, uh, they, they had won. She had won the lawsuit and they took the, those three songs off the streaming platforms because they didn't want nobody digging in the business. And once they start digging in the business, you find out that Michael faked his death and you find out all kind of stuff. All right. So anyway, uh, um, anyway, they're, they're, they're griping and um, saying it's all about the money and all this stuff. Well, if you would take the time out to learn... If you would take the time out to learn about the death hoax, you would know and read the actual will and trust. You will know that Michael is the trustee and trustor of his own estate. So everything that happens, that's all these projects, is not the brainchild of John Bronco and John McClain, who are the co-executors of the estate. They're the brainchild of Michael Jackson. Most of these projects Michael was working on before the death announcement, okay? He was putting it in play before the death announcement. I learned that because I attended the IRS case where a lot of these people that Michael was talking to, like the people with the Circus OA, they, they, that was already in the making. This is it was already in the making. Um, when the Tell My Tell Me case, when I covered that, that was already in the making. Um, the Halloween special was already in the making. Um, so in the, the unreleased songs on in March of 2009, there was an article saying Michael wants all his unreleased songs released after he dies. And that's with months before the death announcement. So it's all set up. Just watch the live docuseries and you'll learn so much. But anyway, guys, you know, they, they called it. They said, oh, but their projects are for the ma mass, uh, mass Michael fan audience, not for us dedicated fans, not for us. And then gripes at the same time that the Michael Jackson birthday celebration doesn't have enough people there. Okay, uh, so which way do you want it? Do you want mass production uh, reaching a mass audience or you want a small audience? But when it's a small audience, you're going to put it down and say it's a joke. Okay, let's stop griping. You know, the projects are good. They're positive. They show Michael in a great light. They um, are uh, giving the state money. Michael is uh, keeping his legacy alive. I do not see the downside. Okay. Now, Catherine um, didn't want half of the MyJack catalog to be sold to Sony for $600 million. Okay. Well, this is my opinion about it. And in a few years, we're going to get the estate accounting and I'm going to prove that it's true. Um, the, Michael's estate is paying for the Michael biopic, okay? John McClain and John Bronca are the, the producers of it, as well as John Graham, uh, um, Graham King, Graham King, I think that's his name. 
and Anton Fuqua is the director, and uh, another guy is the writer, but he, the guy who wrote it also wrote the fake death movie of 007. <laughs> oh my God, and next door to the, uh, the MJ1 show in Las Vegas is Skyfall, and Skyfall is the name of the 007 movie where 007, James, Brown, James Bond, fakes his death. I'm just saying I don't make this stuff up. I just give you guys the facts, okay? So, anyway, let's stop griping about things. Be grateful that Michael's being shown in a positive light, that we got all these projects and these plays to go see and these Circus Olay, and we get albums and we get music, and now we're getting a biopic. Yes, okay? So let's all be grateful, and if you care enough, Watch my live docu-series and you're going to learn that there's nothing to be mad at Michael about if he faked his death, okay? I understand why, Michael. I really do. All right, let's talk about Miss Candace Owens. Okay, Candace Owens, uh, you know, a lot of black people are mad at her because she seems to not take the side of black people often enough. You know, so a lot of some black people are mad at her. Let me go back here. So anyway, so on his birthday, she did a 50-minute... Um, uh, she did a 50 minute, you know, presentation about Michael and his birthday and everything like that, right? So, um, with Miss Candace Owens, and she is a Michael fan, so I like her for that. But I, you know, I, I really don't have 50 minutes to it's listen to somebody. Is it time? Oh, hi, somebody's here. Hi, I'm going live. I got a customer. Anyway, to be continued, I gotta go. Bye bye. Okay.